Football trials can be frightening. You need to make a great first impression or you won't be selected. Simple as that. And while the coaches and scouts traditionally look for your skills and technique, physical attributes, tactical awareness and even personality and your mental attributes, in this episode we look at a sort of a checklist on how to leave a good impression and what to do to impress those scouts at tryouts. Let's go! Number 1. Be well prepared. In short, being well prepared means being ready both mentally and physically. So make sure you've done all your normal preparation to the best of your ability. Now, oftentimes, not always, you'll be heading to tryouts at the very beginning of the season, before the start of the preseason. And this means you might want to reduce the time fooling around with your friends all summer and putting in the extra effort to be in the best physical shape possible. Look, you're heading to a trial to level up perhaps even sign for a semi-professional team. So the pace and overall level will of course be higher than what you're used to. So be well prepared. And by the way, make sure you not only bring a pair of football boots, but also a pair of running shoes, in case the coach, for example, wants you to go for a run prior to training or do some gym work afterwards. Trust me, you don't want to be that guy who doesn't have running shoes when they are required. And lastly, whatever you do, do not show up late. Number 2. Control your emotions. Look, I know, going to a trial is nerve-wracking. Oftentimes, you don't know anyone, you're in a completely new environment. And trials just put you in that super locked-in mindset where it's so easy to start overthinking everything. But as nervous and insecure you might be, while the adrenaline is pumping and you wanna perform, on the pitch, when it's time to play, you need to control your emotions. If you lose the ball or misplace a pass, don't let it stop you from wanting the ball again. The coaches and scouts will see that immediately. And likewise, if you score an insane top corner, don't get overwhelmed and think, that's it, you've done it all now. Stay focused from the moment you show up until the session is over. And keep your emotions in place by just simply taking it one action at a time. The coaches want to see how you can perform in a competitive environment. And just like in a regular football game, you will both make mistakes and good plays. But it's how you react to either of those two that really makes an impact. So don't get carried away at any moment. Keep a balanced mindset even though the adrenaline is rushing and you want to give it your all. Number 3. Express yourself. Okay, this is the most cliche thing any coach can ever say. Go out there and express yourself. But honestly, it's the shortest and most simple way of saying, look, show me what you got. Do your thing. Show me what makes you unique and special. Expressing yourself at trials means playing with your strengths and sticking to your guns. Showcasing those key attributes that make you a valuable player for the team you're trying to get into. The honest truth is that since you're coming from the outside, you need to be better than the players they've already got. And that means you need to give the coaches something they don't currently have. And while it's always good to do all the basic stuff well, Keep in mind that you need to make sure you leave a strong impression that makes the coach want to sign you. Let me give you an example. Back in my playing days, my absolute strengths as a center mid were my wide passing range and leadership skills. I was always the most vocal player on the pitch both when attacking and defending. And if I were to, for example, stay quiet at trials and not communicate aggressively as I normally would, perhaps because I was insecure or nervous, I would not showcase one of my strongest abilities to the coaches. So the bottom line is, make sure to showcase all of your best elements because failing to do so will leave you disappointed and feeling like you let yourself down. Now, if it's then not good enough to get you selected, well, that's another story. But go out there and show the coaches what's special about you. It might be the most simple of things, but if you can execute your strengths well while playing under pressure, you have a big chance of leaving a great impression and being selected. Number 4. Fight for it. Let me explain. Trials are competitive, and depending on the nature of it, you're probably there to take someone else's place on the team. Actually, in a proper environment, every single day at the training ground is a chance for every single player to secure their spot in the starting 11. But especially at trials, 
you are the outsider looking to get in. So don't be surprised and get overly emotional if other players seem ice cold when you enter the dressing room and it's not a warm welcome with hugs and kisses. In the end, you are there to take their spots. And when it comes to the actual trials, play hard, fight for it, go in for the tackle. But of course, you don't want to harm anyone. Show not only the coaches, but also the players around you that you want this, you want to win, and you're going to fight for it and make the team better. Look, football is insanely competitive and you need to show that you're not going to back down and you're the one they should select. Remember, at trials, you have very limited time to impress, so don't waste one second of it. And while football is, of course, a team game, you are there as an individual trying to get a spot in the team. So fight for it. Now, as a last bonus tip, in the unfortunate scenario that you're not selected, if you honestly feel like you did great and don't understand why you didn't make the cuts, ask the coach what was missing. Look, I know, after a major disappointment, your first instinct might be to just bounce immediately. But getting feedback will at least give you something to work on. In fact, as a footballer in general, being able to receive especially negative feedback is an absolutely great skill to have. To always look for ways to improve yourself and be open to hear what other people have to say. And if the coach can clearly articulate what was missing, who knows, maybe next year when you come back, you're gonna make the cut. Anyways, that wraps it up for today's episode. Chances are a lot of you guys will have trials this year. And like with anything in life, the first time is always the most nerve-wracking. But show up well prepared, control your emotions, express yourself and fight for it. And you're setting yourself up to perform at your best level. Let us know in the comments below which topics we should cover next. And make sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time we upload a new video. And with those words, I'm out.